Hello, everybody, wherever you may be. My name's Larry. My call sign's Kilo 7 Hotel November. Welcome back to my shack here in Northwest Oregon. CQ calling on a Saturday night. Let's let it roll. CQ calling is brought to you by MFJ. They bring you the best from antenna analyzers to this amplifier. This is the ALS 1306. First time using it on the show. Should be a lot of fun. We're running one kilowatt. So we can drive it harder, but I don't want to. That's, you know, that's enough. So let's go to the rig cam. We'll start out again for generals. You guys can join the show. We are at 7181. Get you a better picture here. Turn off some of this background lighting on you so you don't have to see all that. And let's let it rip. CQ calling. CQ calling. This is Kilo 7 Hotel November. Kilowatt 7 Hotel November. Calling CQ. CQ calling. CQ calling. We are live on Ham Radio Live on YouTube. Streaming on YouTube at the moment. We'd love to make a QSO with you. Kilo 7 Hotel November. Kilowatt 7 Hotel November. Calling CQ and listening. CQ calling, CQ calling, Kilo 7 Hotel November, Kilowatt 7 Hotel November, calling CQ. CQ calling, CQ calling, live on Ham Radio Live on YouTube from the Pacific Northwest of Oregon. This is Kilo 7 Hotel November, Kilowatt 7 Hotel November, calling CQ and listening. <laughs> The bands are not in the best of shape, but I think we'll be okay. The problem sometimes when you run power is that some people that have good antennas but could be far away and hear you, you unfortunately can't hear them. And that's one of the things you have to learn when you use an amplifier. Sometimes people try, but you just can't hear them. So if you try and reach us tonight and we can't hear you, please accept my apologies. It's not intentional, okay? CQ calling. CQ calling. This is Kilo 7 Hotel November. Kilo 7 Hotel November calling CQ. CQ calling. CQ calling. We're streaming live on YouTube on Ham Radio Live. This is Kilo 7 Hotel November. Kilo 7 Hotel November. Calling CQ and listening. I've got a weak copy here. If you come back again, call sign please three times phonetically and slowly. I'm sure I can pull you in. Go ahead. Okay, we've got two here. Let me go ahead and start out with this one here. I believe I have a Kilo Fox 7 Charlie Lima Hotel. Is that correct? I heard a Kilo Fox 7 Charlie Lima Hotel. Are you out there? This is Kilo 7 Hotel November. QSL, thank you. You're a 5'5 five five here into Northwest Oregon. My name is Larry. Lima Alpha, Romeo, Romeo, Yankee. My QTH is Independence, Oregon. QSL? Q 
QSL, thank you so much. Man, we're making a quick one, aren't we? This is all the way to Duval, Washington. So we're almost Skywave here. That's why the signal reports are the way they are. Yeah, very good. That's fine business. 5-5 five, five is pretty good when you're this close together. Thank you for picking up the call. You'll find the show at Ham Radio Live on YouTube. I'll try and send you a private message through QRZ. Look for it. It'll be a link to the show, okay? <laughs> losing a lot here because we're so close so i'll close it out and give you 73 kilo fox 7 charlie lima hotel all the best from oregon this is kilo 7 hotel november qrz okay i also think i heard a kilo kilo 6 whiskey delta is that correct CQ calling, CQ calling, Kilo 7 Hotel November, Kilowatt 7 Hotel November calling CQ. CQ calling, CQ calling, live on Ham Radio Live on YouTube. This is Kilo 7 Hotel November, Kilowatt 7 Hotel November calling CQ and listening. <laughs> report today was that the uh, bands were in fair condition so we've got no matter how much power you run if it's fair condition it's fair condition somebody's coming back Hold on. cq calling cq calling kilo seven hotel november kilowatt seven hotel november calling cq cq calling cq calling Live on Ham Radio Live on YouTube. This is Kilo 7 Hotel November. Calling CQ and listening. CQ Calling tonight is presented by... Not presented, I shouldn't say that. It's powered by MFJ. MFJ has everything from antenna analyzers to your antenna amplifiers and your antennas. From A to Z, MFJ has you pleasantly covered for Christmas. Let's try again. CQ calling, CQ calling. This is Kilo 7 Hotel November. Kilowatt 7 Hotel November calling CQ. CQ calling, CQ calling. Kilo 7 Hotel November, Kilowatt 7 Hotel November, live on Ham Radio Live on YouTube, calling CQ and listening. Good way to start out, if band conditions are kind of bad, you know, is to lower your passband down. Usually, if you get about 24 to 2500, you know, so 2.4 to 2.5 kilohertz, it'll help you to pick somebody out, okay? Just a tip that I use at least helps me to separate the signal from the noise. Here we go. CQ calling, CQ calling. This is Kilo 7 Hotel November. Kilowatt 7 Hotel November calling CQ. CQ calling live on Ham Radio, live on YouTube. Streaming to the world, this is Kilo 7 Hotel November, calling CQ on 40 meters and listening. I have a Whiskey 6, but there's a lot of QSB. Come back. Whiskey 6, Alpha, Alpha, Mike. Great call sign. I love that, man. That's awesome. You've got a good signal here. 5-5 five, five to 5-6 five, on a rough night for radio propagation here into Independence, Oregon. My name's Larry. My uh, QTH is Independence. Again, 5-5. Five, five. And then when tough conditions like this, pretty solid. Where are you located? Your 
My call sign is Kilowatt 7 Hotel November. Kilo 7 Hotel November. QSL? You know, I'll take a 5-5, five, five, Frank. We're pretty close. Red Bluff is only about 350 miles or so away. Man, you know, it's, it's almost from NBIS here. So I appreciate you very much coming back to the channel. I'll make sure and send a copy of the show to your QRZ email, okay? I'm going to give you 73 at this point. I appreciate you coming back, Frank. Thank you very much in Red Bluff, California. Whiskey 6, Alpha, Alpha Mike. Kilo 7 Hotel November. All the best from the Northwest and God bless you, sir. Kilo 7 Hotel November. Again, have a nice evening. 7 3, and we'll talk to you later. Whiskey 6, Alpha Alpha Mike. Thank you, my friend. Appreciate it. Kilo 7 Hotel November QRZ. Kilo 7 Hotel November, CQ Calling, CQ Calling. We're live on Ham Radio, live on YouTube, and streaming to the world. Love to make a QSO with you. This is Kilo 7 Hotel November, calling CQ and listening. Again, cut back the pass band. Just to make it good. Alexander, hey, buddy. Welcome to the show. Glad you're here, bud. Thank you. Thanks for coming. Special show tonight, doing CQ Calling on a Saturday. Because we missed Friday. Yep, that's what happened. We just, too much stuff going on. So, we're here on a Saturday. 40 meters is 7.181 megahertz. So, let's make another call. Make a call to Washington State as well as one to Northern California. Let's see what we get next on CQ Calling. Again, the reason we call it CQ Calling is an homage to the old shortwave broadcasters of the day. They used to open up their broadcast day by saying CQ calling. Here we go. CQ calling, CQ calling, Kilo 7 Hotel November, Kilo 7 Hotel November, calling CQ. CQ calling, CQ calling. We're live on Ham Radio Live on YouTube and streaming to the world. Kilo 7 Hotel November, Kilowatt 7 Hotel November, calling CQ to any station anywhere and listening. I've got Juliet 6, Lima Golf. Could you help me with the prefix, please? Uh, right here, right here. Alpha, Juliet 6. Alpha, Lima 6. Juliet, oh. sorry, Alpha, Juliet 6, Lima Golf. Is that right? Very good. Well, thank you, my friend Jeffrey. Los Gatos, California. Well, we're working California pretty well tonight. Appreciate it. 5-5 five, five to 5-6 five, here in the Northwest Oregon. Appreciate you coming on to the show tonight. Thank you so much. How are things in Northern California? I'm sorry, Southern California today. You're uh, actually in the Bay Area. How are you? You know, I'll take that. That's fine. It's a rough night propagation-wise, so we'll take what we can get. Thank you, Jeff. Appreciate it. I'll send a copy of the show to your QRZ email. Thanks for being a part of it. I appreciate that very, very much. Alpha Juliet 6, Lima Golf, Kilo 7 Hotel November. All the best from the Pacific Northwest, and God bless you, sir. Roger, Roger. Barry, you're fading in and out, but you just came up good 5-7 there. So good luck with the show. Uh, I'll be clear on your final, Alpha Juliet 6, Lima Golf. 
Thank you, Jeff. Appreciate you being part of the show tonight. This is Kilo 7, Hotel November, QRZ. <laughs> Somebody in the background there, could you come again, please? I have a November 7 Delta. Is that correct so far? November 7, Delta Bravo, India. Thank you so much for coming on the show. Nice to meet you. My name is Larry. That's Lima Alpha Romeo Romeo Yankee. My QTH is Independence, Oregon, about 65 miles southwest of Portland. It's nice to see you, David, in Idaho tonight. How are things in Idaho? Over. QSL, yeah, we've been getting into the 30s, and my hands get freezing out there. You know what I mean? It's not the fun time of year, Dave. Oh, boy. Anyway, hey, great, great signal, by the way. It's a lot of QS speed tonight, just the way it works, but I appreciate you picking up the call. We'll make sure and send a copy of the show to your QRZ page, and I'll give you a 73. November 7, Delta, Bravo, India, Kilo 7, Hotel November, all the best from the Northwest. God bless you, man. Merry Christmas to you and your family. Thank you, Larry. QSL, my friend. Thanks, David. Have a nice evening. Kilo 7 Hotel November, QRZ. I'd like to welcome some good friends here tonight. Alexander from the UK. Thank you, Mr. Drake, for coming. My name's Whiskey 4, November Delta Kilo, all the way from Charlotte, North Carolina. What an honor. Thank you, my friend. I mean that. Alexander can't stay for the whole show, but you, sir, are a good friend, and I think the world of you. Frank. Hey, man, what a blessing for me. Great, great call. And I appreciate you doing that. By the way, I love the icon. That's pretty darn cool. Nice to meet you tonight, Frank. Good signal. Tough conditions tonight. Great work. Let's get back to the channel. We'll see if we can make some calls. CQ calling. CQ calling. This is Kilo 7, Hotel November. Kilowatt 7, Hotel November. Calling CQ. CQ calling. CQ calling. Live on Ham Radio Live on YouTube. This is Kilo 7, Hotel November. Kilowatt 7, Hotel November. Calling CQ and listening. Tony, welcome. All the way from Marion, Indiana. Kilo Charlie 9, Quebec Victor Echo. Thank you, buddy. Good to have you a part of the show. I do mean that. Thank you, Tony. Welcome. What an honor. Gosh, this is great. Hey, Ron. Victor Alpha 3, Fox Trot, and Union Charlie in the building. Thank you, buddy. Thanks for being in the house and part of the show tonight. Let's see if we can make a few more calls on CQ calling. It's brought to you by the folks at MFJ from antenna analyzers to antennas and all the stuff in between. MFJ can fill your stocking with goodies that will help make you smile. Find them at MFJEnterprises.com. CQ calling. CQ calling, Kilo 7 Hotel November, Kilo 7 Hotel November, calling CQ. CQ calling, CQ calling, this is Kilowatt 7 Hotel November, live on Ham Radio Live on YouTube, calling CQ to any station, anywhere, and listening. Again, conditions aren't the greatest on 40 tonight. See the static crashes there? Yeah, a little bad. little bad. Eno, Philippines. First time someone from the Philippines is here. That's awesome, man. So we've got the UK. We've got, we've got Canada. We've got the US. And we have the Philippines. 
Pino, wonderful to meet you. That's Delta Whiskey 4, Bravo Tango Lima. What a great honor it is to meet you. Thanks for being here, my friend. CQ calling, CQ calling. This is Kilo 7 Hotel November. Kilo 7 Hotel November calling CQ. CQ calling, CQ calling. Live on Ham Radio Live on YouTube, streaming to the world. This is Kilo 7 Hotel November. Kilowatt 7 Hotel November. Calling CQ to any station, anywhere, and listening. Again, again, please, someone's in the background trying to pull you up. There's a lot of QSB here. I'm trying to pull you in. If you could do me a favor, and I'm sorry to ask this, but would you please repeat your call sign three times phonetically, three times phonetically, and I'll try and pull you in. It'd be great to have you on the show tonight. Okay, I've got a Victor Charlie Foxtrot. I've got that part. Can you fill in the rest? QSL, very good. Kilo India 6, Victoria Charlie Foxtrot. Is that right? Okay, bear with me. There's a lot of QSB, and I'm trying to get you in here. I appreciate you. Um, Anelli, I believe your name is. Is that correct? Uh, the name is Steve. Okay, then I've got your call sign. I'm wrong on that. I'm sorry. Could you come back? Your signal's a little better now. It's hard because you want to get them, but you just can't hear them through the static. That's the problem. That's the QSB issue. All right, let's try and give him another call back. Ask him to just confirm his call sign. All right, this is Kilo 7 Hotel November. There's a lot of QSB here in your signal, and I'm sorry for that. I, I really mean that. I'd love to have you on the show. I do have very good copy for the Victoria Charlie Foxtrot part of your call. I just need the rest of it. Now, I need you to please say it slowly, three times phonetically, all the way through, and I should be able to get you, okay? Kilo, Juliet, six. Kilo, Japan, six. Kilo, Juliet, six. Kilo, Juliet, six. Victoria, Charlie, Foxtrot. Is that right? I love it when a plan comes together. Very good. Thank you so much. About a 5-5 here into Oregon. Tons of QSB tonight. Hard conditions. But uh, you got a good signal. It's not your fault, just the way things are. I live uh, in Independence, Oregon, about 65 miles southwest of Portland. Signal report 5-5 with fade. Again, 5-5 with some fade. And my name is Larry. Lima Alpha Romeo Romeo Yankee. QSL? QSL, Larry. Kilo 7 Hotel November from Kilo Juliet 6, Victor Charlie Foxtrot. I copy that. Roger, Larry. Uh, Independent Oregon. I'm not far from Taylor. I'm coming up on
All right, my friend, we got a ton of uh, QSP, Steve. I've got to tell you, I love the QRZ page. My goodness, we're going to be live in Hawaii in February and early March. I don't know if we'll make it to Kapalua Beach. Probably going to be at Kihei, Kamaole 2 or 3, but that will be fun. Looking forward to that trip. So I love the picture of you, man. That's that's awesome. That's such a great picture. Wow. I can see Kahualave in the background. It just oh makes me dream of nice warm breezes. Wow. Steve, it's great to meet you. I'm going to give you a 73 because of the QSB. And I mean this. Thanks for being on the show. I'll make sure and send you a copy of it to your QRZ email. I'll send a copy to your QRZ email. Kilo, Juliet 6, Victoria, Charlie, Foxtrot in St. George, Utah. This is Kilo 7, Hotel November. All the best from the Northwest, and God bless you, sir. like pulling out all the noise reduction all the stops <laughs> it's like every filter just trying to work it that's funny so utah california we've got idaho and we have washington state let's see what happens next again we call this cq calling an homage to the folks in the shortwave broadcast industry from a long time ago it's to honor their heritage when they would sign on they would always say cq calling many of them did and it's my way of honoring them. So let's get back to the show. CQ calling, CQ calling. This is Kilo 7 Hotel November. Kilo 7 Hotel November calling CQ. CQ, CQ calling. This is Kilo 7 Hotel November. Kilowatt 7 Hotel November calling CQ live on Ham Radio, live on YouTube and listening. Again, again, I got a station in the background. Kilo 7 Hotel November, back to you. Ryan, that's a good question. And yes, QSB, we've got some fade. Everything is fading tonight. That's QSB. Trouble by static is QRN. That is correct. QRM is man-made noise. Easy way to remember it. QRM, man-made, QRN, environment. Sorry, I dropped my pen there. Good, good question. That's a good point there, Ron. Thank you. Thank you very much. CQ calling. CQ calling. Kilo, 7, Hotel, November. Kilowatt, 7, Hotel, November. Calling CQ. CQ calling. CQ calling live on Ham Radio Live on YouTube, streaming to the world. This is Kilo 7 Hotel November, calling CQ and listening. show we're doing it with the uh, Ameritron ALS 1306 I'm not pushing it too hard we're running one kilowatt tonight keep in mind when you use like any amplifier similar to your radio one kilowatt is your peak envelope power it's not what you're putting out constantly it's just your peaks so usually it's right around four to five hundred watts and then it peaks up so yeah that's how it works but we're only using, look at this, to drive it to one kilowatt, we're using 50 watts. That's it. CQ calling. CQ calling. This is Kilo 7 Hotel November. Kilo 7 Hotel November calling CQ. CQ calling. CQ calling. We're live on Ham Radio Live on YouTube, streaming to the world. We'd love to make a QSO with any station anywhere. This is Kilo 7 Hotel November. Kilowatt 7 Hotel November calling CQ and listening. Hey, David. David, that makes my night. Look at this comment. I'm honored by this. Look at it. Listening to you via shortwave receiver in Vacaville, California. 
I remember the nut tree in Vacaville. Is the nut tree still there? Curious. I remember the nut tree. Man, you can't miss that sign if you're coming off. I think it's a 20, no, 505 from my phone. Yeah. Neat place. Vacaville is beautiful. Just beautiful place. So, David, thank you for honoring me with that comment. I mean that very much because I came from the short web hobby. I had tons of receivers from the um, RCA Transoceanics to the Sony 2010s. I mean, they were just fantastic, and I loved DX. It's my favorite part. So, David, thank you so much. Yep, right in the middle between San Francisco and Sacramento. Thanks for being here, Dave. CQ calling. CQ calling. This is Kilo 7 Hotel November. Kilowatt 7 Hotel November calling CQ. CQ calling. CQ calling. We're live on Ham Radio Live streaming to the world. We'd love to make a contact with any station anywhere. This is Kilowatt 7 Hotel November. Kilo 7 Hotel November calling CQ and listening. Again, as you can tell, I usually start out right about 2.4 to 2.5 kilohertz. It's easier to pick up the human voice in a narrow pass band. It allows less QRN or static to evolve in the signal. <laughs> Look at this. Hey, I'm honored tonight. Look at Kilo Echo 6, Delta Oscar Alpha, firing up my new 101 MP right now. How do you like it? That's the very best radio I have ever used. It's best receiver. I'm actually going to be selling mine in about a month, month and a half, only because the K4 is coming out and it's coming out with a remote unit that's got knobs, kind of like the, you know, the old Maestro, the Maestro that Flex makes. Same thing, but it's a box with knobs. Makes it pretty nice. You can use it from anywhere in your home or in the world. So that's why I'm going with the K4. But I love, love the 101. It is a great radio. This is a 101 MP as well. We're pushing an Ameritron 1306 amplifier running a kilowatt off of only 50 watts out of the radio. Here we go. CQ calling. CQ calling. This is Kilo 7 Hotel November. Kilo 7 Hotel November calling CQ. CQ calling. CQ calling. Live on Ham Radio Live, streaming to the world. This is Kilo 7, Hotel November. Kilowatt 7, Hotel November. Calling CQ on 40 meters and standing by. Oh, Dave, that's a great upgrade this. Got the nut tree. Nope. Now it's an upgraded shopping center called Nut Tree Village. Nothing of the old shops remain. The airport's still there and slowly growing. Vacaville is a beautiful little town there in Northern California. It's literally right almost smack dab between Sacramento and San Francisco. Great location. And Drake, how do you think the FTDX-10 will perform? Good question. I think the receiver's going to be on par with the 101. I do. I think it's kind of a hybrid between the 991 Alpha and the 101. I think much of the Receiver elements from the 101 will be in it in a smaller package. I think it's overpriced still. I think $16.99 is too much. I think it's about a $14 radio. We'll see what Yesu does. Again, patience is your best friend with these things. So I think the FTDX 10 is going to start at like $1,700, drop somewhere to around $1,500. If you can buy it at $14, I would jump all over it. I think it's a great receiver, you know, for what it is. It'll do the, which I think is kind of a gimmick. You know, the 3D waterfall. Not my thing, but, you know, some people like it. I just prefer waterfall. This is Kilo Papa 4. Mike Delta calling. Over. Kilo Papa 4. Mike Delta. Kilo Papa 4. Mike Delta. Strong signal. My goodness, i got to open up my windows here. You're going to blow them out. 5-9 here in the Northwest Oregon. My name is Larry. Lima Alpha Romeo Romeo Yankee. I guess you got that uh, that radio fired up pretty good there. Over. Yeah, hi, Larry. This is Carol. This is Killer Papa Four, my Delta. Uh, we've contacted once before on 80 meters, and uh, you're coming in loud and clear this uh, evening down here. It's a picture site just outside of Sacramento. So back to you, K787. This is Killer Papa Four, my Delta. 
Well, Carol, it's an honor to speak with you again. You know, we share so much in common, starting, you know, with AMDX as kids. You're awesome. Think the world of you. And I thank you for picking up the call again. It's such an honor to speak with you. And I mean that from my heart. You've got a great signal this, this evening, and I appreciate you picking up the call. How have you been, Carol? Yeah, I've been just fine, Larry. I hope you're uh, doing well as well. Um, uh, just let me bear with you, because I know that I'm going to be QSL, Carol, yeah, conditions are pretty rough tonight, no question. And uh, that 500 watts is making the difference for you. I'm running 1KW out of the ALS 1306. And, you know, I'll be honest, I think even in tough conditions, it, it helps, but 100 watts still it does just fine. It's just, you know, the bands are kind of rough tonight. It's the way it works. Carol, I'm going to give you 73. I want to thank you so much. For coming back what a joy it is to hear a voice again i mean that you're my little uh cousin from another mother there you go kilo papa four mike delta kilo seven hotel november carol all the best from the northwest have a merry christmas god bless you Kilo 7 Hotel November QRZ. Kilo 7 Hotel November calling CQ. CQ calling. CQ calling. This is Kilo 7 Hotel November streaming live on YouTube calling CQ to any station anywhere. Kilo 7 Hotel November. CQ calling, Kilo 7, Hotel November, listening. Kilowatt Echo 6, Delta, Oscar Alpha. Hold on a second. Kilo Echo 6, Delta, Oscar Alpha. Let me open the doors in the house, all the windows. That 101 is rocking for you, man. Yeah, hello, Larry. Name is Steve. I got it wired up and working, tested it, and I figured I'd check what was happening and uh, found you live. So I uh, had to reply real quick to make sure you were going to hang around and let me test out my new radio. I've only had it hooked up for about two weeks now. Well, I'll tell you something, Stephen. You're a 5'9 plus 5, peaking at 10 over. Great, great signal from Shingletown. Wow. Thank you so much. What a joy. And, and I want to tell you, too, truly, thank you for your kind words. It's an honor to do the show. It's really to help encourage people to join Ham Radio and show what it's like, you know, what kind of calls you can make and how hard it isn't to do. We want to help people. So, Stephen, while you're here, would you share with us, because you got such a great signal, what you like about Ham Radio? Over. Well, uh, to really touch base on this, I'm just going back into the hobby after putting the mic down for a little over 10 years. I've only been back on the air for about a month now. Had to put up a new HF antenna. I'm on a Step IR DB18, uh, which I am pointed up your direction. I'm pointed due north right now. So just getting everything tucked away and and uh, ship shape. Haven't spent a whole lot of time on the radio because of my work schedule, but yeah, I'm loving this uh, 101 MP, and there was nothing wrong with my other radio. It was the FT920, and uh, matter of fact, it's sitting on the floor here right beside me. Figure out what to do with that later on. But I'm also trying to get things together and get back HF Mobile again. Over. QSL, yeah, it, uh, it can be a tangled mess sometimes, you know? I mean, there's so much that goes into doing this. I mean, really, there's a lot that goes into it, and you want to make sure and do it right. And whatever you're doing there, 
It's good. It's really good. You've got such a great signal. My QTH is Independence, Oregon, about 65 miles southwest of Portland. And you got the best signal we've had tonight. What a joy. Holy cow. Saw your comment on the stream and I was like, wow, okay. Hope we can make that call. And you came in like gangbusters, man. Are you running power as well? Um, yes, I am. I've got my amp on. It's about a kilowatt. I think a lot of it also comes from having a Yagi. So I've got two elements pointed at you. QSL. That makes all the difference in the world. Directional plus amp equals contacts. That's great stuff. Man, what a joy it is to to meet you finally and have a call with you. And again, great signal, Stephen. Just a great signal. I'm going to give you a final, and I mean this. It's an honor to meet you. Thank you, buddy. I'll send you a copy of the show to your QRZ email. I really appreciate you coming on the show. Kilo Echo 6, Delta Oscar Alpha. All the best from the Pacific Northwest. Merry Christmas and God bless you. This is Kilo 7, Hotel November. Merry Christmas, Larry, and to all your listeners out there. Everybody be safe. Uh, kilowatt Echo 6 Delta Oscar Alpha, dead on arrival. Seven thing. threes, guys. Bye-bye. Wow. <laughs> I'm so excited trying to move the lamp. Wow. Kilo 7 Hotel November. Yep, QRZ, my friend. Thank you, Kilo Echo 6 Delta Oscar Alpha. Again, great signal. Kilo 7 Hotel November. CQ calling. CQ calling. Final minutes of the show. We're streaming live on YouTube. We'd love to make a call with you. This is Kilo 7 Hotel November calling CQ to any station, anywhere, and listening. I think that the that rig is coming. I believe it is in some places. I know it's released in Japan. It just hasn't gotten FCC approval finished, and then Yeish is going to do it. So, yeah. And you're right, Ron. He does sound like he's next to me. Yeah, it is a hybrid and definitely very much to the close size of the 991 Alpha as well as the ICOM 7300. Should be interesting what happens on that price. Yep. I think the one, I think the FTX 10 is an interesting idea. We'll see how things go. And somehow we just changed frequency because I bumped the mic. Sorry about that. It happens. Life goes on. And then you go back to frequency and you say, here we are. CQ calling. CQ calling. This is Kilo 7 Hotel November. Kilowatt 7 Hotel November. Calling CQ. CQ calling. CQ calling. We're live on Ham Radio Live on YouTube. Streaming to the world. We'd love to make a call with any station, anywhere, and listening. We just locked, we just locked the VFI. It's easier. <laughs> That's the way it's been lately here. It's one thing after another. <laughs> if, you were in, if you were in this studio yesterday, you would have laughed your head off at me. Just all the things that went wrong. It was like... Chaos controlled. Oh. CQ calling, CQ calling. Final call. This is Kilo 7 Hotel November. Kilo 7 Hotel November calling CQ. CQ calling, CQ calling. Live on Ham Radio Live on YouTube. Streaming to the world. Looking for any station, anywhere. This is Kilo 7 Hotel November. Kilo 7, Hotel November, calling CQ and listening. Again, easier to narrow the passband down. And on the 101, like the 7300, like the Kenwood 890 or the 990, just keep an eye right here. See, there's someone coming back. We just can't hear them. That may look like static, but you see the waterfall, how it's filling in in white. It's somebody trying to come back. We'll try it one more time. CQ calling. CQ calling. Kilo 7 Hotel November. Kilowatt 7 Hotel November. Calling CQ. CQ calling. Live on Ham Radio Live on YouTube. This is Kilo 7 
Hotel November. Kilo 7 Hotel November. Calling CQ to any station, anywhere, and listening. Get some lights on in here, make it look a little bit bright, so you can see me and I don't look like I'm in a cave. There you go. That's the show. And you know, it also goes to show that even with an amplifier, doesn't mean you're going to make contacts immediately. It just doesn't. I think the best thing that can help you with your ham shack, quite honestly, is a directional antenna. Now, I know they're expensive. I've, you've probably seen the YouTube videos of people putting Yagis up, like, you know, a group of, I don't know, 20 of them, you know, with a crane, and they're trying to all hold the antenna and put it on the thrust bear. Anyway, you don't need to do that. There's a new product MFJ has that called the 1848. It is a hex beam. It weighs about 27 pounds, has a wind load of 3.5 cubic feet. That means it can work on a medium duty rotator similar to the high gain CD 45 I. Now take that, what I'm gonna do, put it on my roof, fiberglass piece from one of the MFJ adjustable masts, it will connect to the rotator, then at the top of the rotator, one more piece of the MFJ adjustable mast, it's gonna be a guy wired down on four sides, of course, but it'll be about 35 to 38 feet in the air. You get 40 meters through six. It's an eight band directional antenna. You can get it with the mast pieces and the rotator and the antenna. It'll cost you under $1,500 US before tax. That's a directional antenna and it's affordable. That's an amazing deal. I still can't get over that. When I toured MFJ this past week, I uh, told them what I thought of it, you know, because I'm, I'm putting it together. And unfortunately, we we had a mishap at the house when this gentleman from a local radio club came to help me. It, you know, things happened. It wasn't meant to go up that day. I live with that. That's okay. The guy came out of his heart to help, and that's all that mattered. So another day, we get the joy of putting the directional beam up. My point: you don't have to worry about spending ten grand, you know, fifteen grand for a directional. You can get one for about $1,500 and have the power of a directional antenna. That's the number one thing that will help you. Amplifiers are great. Don't get me wrong. They're great. But being able to turn your signal and move it to certain directions is more important. Your antenna is the most important part of your station. Remember that. For new hams that like to start in a hobby someday, I always said this and I still stick with it. The one thing you want to keep and make sure you do this first the right way. Buy a good quality feed line. Feed line is what goes between your shack and your antenna. So between your radio and your antenna is a piece of coaxial cable, or it could be ladder line depending on what you're using, but let's just stick with coax for the moment. Try and get the best you can. Now, typically we talk about like LMR 400. It's expensive. However, I mean, I bought four pieces today because we've got these radios here to, to you know, put on to the antenna system, $112, four pieces. But the point is they'll be able to work then through the antenna switch that MFJ sells called the MFJ 1700C. It'll hold up to six radios and up to six antennas. Pretty cool. So we'll have Callum's antenna from DX Commander. If you any watched of his video, his call sign is M0MCX. You can find him on YouTube at DX Commander. Also his products, Great antenna products. Cal has forgotten more about antennas than I ever learned. You'll find him at dxcommander.uk. That's dxcommander.uk. We were thinking about getting his new antenna, but it just won't work because it's too high. We have an antenna ordinance here in our house, excuse me, in our town of 50 feet or lower. So we're going to use the regular DX Commander antenna, which is a dynamite stick. So we're looking forward to having that in here. Plus, we're going to add the Chameleon Empass 2.0 which is coming with us to Hawaii in February. We're going to make some calls on that on 20 meters. That thing is a rock star. It really is. Now, keep in mind on that, 100 watts is pretty much your limit. You're not going to run power through it. 
But to make contacts, it's a great antenna. Goes up in five minutes, literally. It's not hard. So that's a good product. Also, we're going to be adding the MFJ1848 directional beam that's coming up. I don't know when. We'll figure it out. <laughs> it's just one of those things. You wait, right? All right. Let me take a look at your comments real quick before we close the show. And again, it's really an honor. And I mean this, to be able to spend time with all of you. I do mean that. Um, I look forward to this. And I felt bad we didn't air the show last night. We just couldn't. This is way too bright. That's better. <laughs> you know, things happen. And we left for Mississippi and Tennessee and then just came back and things were kind of a little wonky in here. So put it all back together again. Added this here so the new radios have a place to sit. And we're grateful. Thanks for the thumbs up. That always makes me feel good. Thank you. I do this just to give back. And I mean that. You guys mean a lot to me. I look forward to doing the shows. After this, what I do is I walk for about an hour to stretch my back out. And I listen to all my mistakes and kick myself for them. But I really genuinely appreciate you being here. If you'd hit the subscribe button, I'd sure appreciate it. We don't do anything any monetization here. You're not going to be sitting there on your phone hitting the skip ad button as fast as you can hit it. I won't put ads here. It's my way of giving back. Oh, thumbs up again. <laughs> wow, thank you. I mean that. I do this out of my heart. And I do it because I've always loved radio. I waited way too long to get my ham radio license. If you're not licensed and you're watching this show, I want to encourage you. You don't have to give up a ton of your life to learn to do ham radio. You can do it. You really can. Contact your local government authority if you're outside the U.S. If you're in the U.S., contact the ARRL. That's the American Radio Relay League. You can find them at ARRL.org. I'll have the link in the description below. Click on the link. Take you right to their homepage. We'd love to have you join us in ham radio. It's the biggest and most fun hobby in the world. I mean, what else can you do when you grab a microphone with a feed line you put together, an antenna you put together, and make calls to people all over the world and great friends too. I mean that, great friends. Like, for example, tonight, for me, it was a joy to see Carol. Carol, thank you. I mean that. That means a lot to me. You really sounded great tonight. And to me, it's just a privilege to say hello to you again. And I mean that. Carol and I share a similar thing. When we were young, we both loved to listen to AMDX. I found it by accident in the car one night. I was listening to a station I thought was local, and then they announced that their call sign was from Los Angeles. And I went, whoa, that's a thousand miles away. I was hooked. That was it. Then I'd spend a lot of time in my room and listening to DX at night. I was hooked for life. Let's take a look at your comments. And I'm grateful for all of you being here. Thank you. Eric, Kilo 3, Echo Lima Golf. Even though you used to be Kilo 3, Queen King Jack, just saying. <laughs> I love your new call sign. You know that, Eric. I'm just playing with you. Uh, I want to get back to this question. How do you think the new FTDX 10 will perform? I think it's going to have a receiver similar to the FTDX 101s. I do. It'll be similar, but a smaller package. Now, there has to be something that Yesu has given up in this. They have to have, because they sell the 101 at over $3,000. The 101 MP is over four grand. So to get something at $1,700, there had to be some corners cut somewhere. It'll be interesting to see how that radio does on the Sherwood list and what the initial people feel about it. There'll be a ton of reviews on that radio. I've seen one already. And unfortunately, they use this stupid 3D waterfall. I hate that on this radio. I just think it's a novelty. Don't like it at all. And we got, okay, David, sorry, and Drake sold my IC7300 and need a receiver. Don't like the 3D. I agree with you. I don't like it either. I don't ever turn it on this radio. In fact, the only reason I turn on this radio is so people can see it on the show. That's it. I think it's useless. I, to me, it's just a novelty thing. But I guess some people like it. The way it goes. And forget your life. Hope Yesu adds the averaging. Yes, agreed. Agreed. You can't adjust the averaging on the 101. You can't. It's just the way it is. It's something that Yesu should be fixing in a firmware update, but it doesn't take away the power of this receiver. It's the best I've ever used. I've used some amazing radios in my life. This one 
is the best I've had. It really is. Um, question from N. Drake. Would you recommend an FTDX 3000 over an FTDX 10? I don't know because I don't know what the FTDX 10 is going to be like. I think it will be probably better than the 3000. I think the 3000 is on borrowed time. But I also thought that about the 5000. Hold on. This is a radio I waited so long to get. I wanted it for a long, long time. Finally got it. This is the Yaesu FTDX 5000. And I, I just, this was a radio I pined over. And I was finally blessed to get it with some really good studio mics. So I was grateful for the package, but the radio was perfect. And I, I mean, I'm just very blessed and grateful to have it. I think the 3000, which is a cousin to this radio, is a great radio. The nice thing about that, Mr. Drake, is that it has a history behind it and it's well proven. It's a very good DX radio. The FTDX 3000 is already proven to be an excellent performer. I would highly recommend that radio. Now, I don't know much about the FTDX 10. Much of it seems to sound like the 101, but again, how can you provide the same receiver at half the price? Doesn't make sense. I, I don't understand Yaesu pricing. I don't, and I've got a Yaesu. I've got two of them. I don't know. I don't know how they do it. So that's my answer on that. I, I think the 10 is a, probably going to be a decent radio, probably better if you want to use like a monitor, you know, like if you want to have your radio displayed like this on a screen. See, like this is basically just on a 27-inch HD monitor. That's all it is. And if you want to display a radio, it's simple. You just plug it into the DVI out in the back, right into the HDMI in the back of your monitor, and you're up and running. You see a rig. Just remember, if they do the same thing that they did on the 101, the mouse is really weird. You've got to go to an older Logitech 3 Series mouse. The, the 5 and the 7 Series that are out now will not work with the 101. So you have to go with the 3 Series mouse in order to control the screen. So if you take a look here, we'll go to the rig. I know there's a light there, sorry. But you see the mouse rolling around there. Yeah, you can use that, but you need to get the 3 Series Logitech mouse. If they do the same thing, which I assume they will on the FTDX 10, keep that in mind. If you want to use mouse control because it is available on that radio, probably going to have to look back into the Logitech 3 Series. But, you know, if you want to have that display option instead of buying a Raspberry Pi, you know, or a CR Play, why not? Yeah, good idea. I think it's a great question. I really do. Because they're both proven performers. I love my 3000. It was a great radio. Yep. Okay. That was like, yeah, he was. That was a great signal. And that was, um, that was KE, sorry, KE6 DOA. Great signal. Which is solid. Yeah. It is. It's kind of a hybrid. Yeah. The, the 99, sorry, the FTDX10 is a hybrid SDR. Meaning it uses direct sampling an analog filtering basically it brings it in with an analog you know filter path and then it converts it to digital it's hybrid it's not like the ic7300 which is a direct sampling radio and it basically works all digitally yesu takes an analog signal basically and then it's a hybrid from there brings it out to your radio and they're able to do all this like in milliseconds it's amazing what they created I'm just curious what was cut out to make the FTDX 10 at that price because, you know what I'm saying, if the 101D is over three grand and the 10 is basically the same receiver for $16.99, that doesn't make sense. They're both 100 watt radios. I don't get that one. So we'll see. KP4M and I love this KP4M. This my Carol. QSLR, QSL Knight, 0215 UTC. Thank you. Citrus Heights used to live there. Love that area. And I messed up. I think I told you once Sunrise and Greenback, just off of Greenback, not far away from Sunrise. Nice area. Love Citrus Heights. And yes, you're welcome. What a signal. My God. Wow. I'm serious, Steve. That was that was the best signal of the night. And thank you for your comment about ham radio and what you said. I think that's so important for people to hear who aren't hams because it allows them to know what brought you into the hobby? Because they may be sharing your interest. I think it's a very good, very good thing. Yeah. Carol says, I use my Alinko DX70TH running 100 watts to a 40 full wave loop Skywire at 20 feet. Wow. 
Carol, that's fantastic. 20 feet? Wow. Holy cow. Yeah. That's actually really good because 20 feet isn't very high. If you get up 30 or 40 feet, man, you're singing. But 20 feet, that's great. And your signal was really good, Carol. Really good. It's such a pleasure to talk to you again and see you. What an awesome gift to me tonight to be able to talk with you again. I mean that. I really do. All right. Eric, you can hear me tonight. I'm glad. That makes me happy. Finally. Finally, we heard each other. That's great. <laughs> We're using, by the way, tonight the high gain 680 vertical. So the AV680. Yeah. One high noise floor. Well, it's about two. About an S2 tonight. Take a look here at the rig. Yeah, it's right about an S2. Let me turn this light off so you can see it a little better. Okay. So there's your noise floor, right about S2, okay? And, and how I do this is I adjust it on the rig before I start. When you're using any SDR, whether it be the Yaesu 101 or the ICOM 7300 or the 7610, you know, flex radios, an SDR. Always adjust your RF gain until it just starts to move the needle a little bit, then back it off. That's where you know where the noise floor is. It's a real simple process, but it doesn't overwork the front end of your radio, so the RF gain works like it's supposed to. Otherwise, you can really pull too hard with it. Yeah. Eric says, working on getting my DX Commander Nebula up should be helpful next time. Oh, yeah. You know, seven feet, Eric. Seven feet stopped us from getting the Nebula, really. And I told Cal, I said, well... We've got an ordinance in town that we can't go over 50 feet. He says, oh, just buy the Commander, Larry. So I did, the classic. So we're looking forward to that coming from Great Britain. Should be fun. Alan, good to see you, buddy. Alpha Bravo 8, Alpha Sierra. Alan's been with us a long time. And Alan, it's such an honor to see you. It makes me feel happy because you were there in Mississippi as well with us. Thanks for being here, Alan. What a joy. Yeah, we're doing good, good, just busy. A lot of projects here. Like I say, I've got all this LMR 400, just basically all they are is just, you know, connecting cables to try and get these rigs hooked up onto the same antenna. Takes time. <laughs> the radio's a long ways away. KE6DOA, you're 10 over yourself. Bless your heart, man. Thank you. I'm glad to hear you. Know, thank you. That means a lot. It means this amplifier that cost a lot of money is working. <laughs> Hi there. Good to see you, Fast Enough Garage. Holy cow, looks like a, is that an SS Camaro? Looks like an SS. Waiting for the FTDX 10 to arrive. Good for you. Should be a fun radio. In fact, I, I checked with HRO today, was there this afternoon, and they said that they haven't received it yet. So I know that Yesu's working on getting FCC approval. I'm sure they've got it by now, but they've got to ship. And the problem is because of the coronavirus, manufacturing is really tight right now because you know, you can only get so many people to work at one time in a factory. For example, Elecraft, we're getting the K4 here. It's going to be a while because they've got to get all the parts for it. And, you know, sourcing out like ICs and transistors, hard to do right now because factories are running behind schedule. Everything is slow from antennas all the way to radios. So that FTDX 10 will come out and we'll see what it looks like. I'm looking forward to that. Steve, whoa. Thanks, man. Hello in 73 from Lanchester, England. Wow. I'm, I'm honored. Thank you, Steve. That means a lot to me. Thank you. I mean that. I still have a goal to reach Great Britain. I haven't done it yet. So I'm hopeful once we get the directional up, we can make it work. Because I really want to work Great Britain. I would love to do that. And it'd be an honor to work with you or Alexander. Both of you guys are in the UK. What a joy. Yep. Question from Fast Enough Garage, what was cut out? One receiver, isn't the FTX 101 a dual receiver? The FTX is, the 10 is not. Yes, they are dual receivers, but keep in mind, here's a real good example on it, and, and hopefully this helps. You look at the ICOM 7300, for example, right? It's under $1,000. Then you have the 7610, it's priced, what is it now, 29, right? For the extra receiver, but you also get diversity receive, you get better filtering, there's a lot of improvements, plus you get more than one antenna input on the 7610. I'd love to have one of those radios, but my point is there's got to be something that's given up here. There has to be. I know it doesn't have VC tune. That's one thing it's missing, and VC tune can be pretty helpful sometimes. Not necessarily essential, but it's good to have. 
it does help bring your signal and should be interesting how that works out. We're waiting at 23. Oh, bless your heart. Ron, I need to put you on staff here somehow, man. <laughs> I'm, I'm honored just to have one person watch. I mean that. We started out with 37 subscribers, and by the grace of God, we're getting more, and, and I'm honored by that. You need to know that. That means something to me because I come here basically to teach ham radio to people that don't know it, and to me, that means a lot. I have a sign. Let me show you this. You never see this part in the station. This is right below my monitor. And this is really who I am. Stay humble. I'm a simple guy. I really am. I just am a guy that fell in love with radio as a kid and didn't ever want to stop doing it. And unfortunately, things happened in my life that made it go away. But now I'm back into it. I don't ever want to let it go. And I'm grateful to have a wife that's very supportive of that. That's cool. Zeal one. Nice. Woo. I had a 2016 Camaro SS Indie Festival car. It was blue and white. It was beautiful, man. I bought it in Indiana, drove it home cross country with the top down most of the way. No joke. Six months almost to the day the car arrived. We had a house fire. It destroyed the car. You could almost not recognize the car at all. It was so sad. That was just awful. So I, a lot of props to Camaros. Man, they corner like a dream. Oh my gosh. Yep. Eric, tried to make contact with 100 watts and an offsetter fed dipole. Didn't cut it with bad conditions. Yeah, it's just the way it is, man. But it's going to get better. The sunspot cycle's coming up. And pretty soon we'll be using 20 meters in daytime and nighttime. So hang in there. We'll be here. I'm not going to go anywhere. By God's grace, we'll keep doing the shows. And I appreciate your kind comments tonight. That's it. It's a wrap. CQ Calling tonight is powered by MFJ. Everything from antenna analyzers, amplifiers, chokes, noise cancellation devices, antennas, and everything in between. You get lots of stuff. They've got a ton of stuff. And right now, like everyone in the ham radio community that sells product, they're waiting on product too. So if you've ordered something and it hasn't come yet or something like that, be patient. It'll be there. They're just waiting on manufacturing. If you have a problem with something from MFJ, one of the things Mr. Dew told me after he stopped the cameras, he said, Larry, I want you to please tell your listeners that quality is very important to us here. If anyone has a problem with an MFJ product that they purchased, you know, that they just purchased had a problem with it, please let us know because we want to make it right. That's a pretty good guy. That's a pretty good guy. Eric, thank you, buddy. 73. 73 to you. 73 to N. Drake. Whiskey 4. November Delta Kilo. 73 as well from the Pacific Northwest. My name is Larry. The call signs Kilo 7 Hotel November. The show is called Ham Radio Live. We try and teach people ham radio here and show them what it's like. That's why we do CQ call in. Please subscribe to the channel. I won't monetize it. I just ask you to subscribe. Until next time, God bless you. Have a nice Saturday night. We'll see you soon. Goodbye, everybody.